the colors from the steel glowing up in the dark. It goes from dark to shiny. It's a kind of a, a primal thing. I can do it all day looking at these colors. We have one of very few knife makers in Denmark. It's very unique in Denmark to make knives and especially kitchen knives. Our knives are special. We heat treat them very hard. If you buy a knife, a normal kitchen knife, it's softer in the steel than the ones we're making. It's a great material. It's a very unique material. It's super hard. And then if you heat it up, you can, you can work it. We start by sourcing the steel, afterwards we grind the steel until it's completely clean and then we weld up some stacks. And then we start forging. Our customers are based all over the world. We have knife makers that buy a blade. We also have uh, chefs that needs a knife for cooking and we have uh, collectors. I'm working with uh, a friend of mine, uh, Kel, and I have a new partner in knife making and it's Andreas. He goes by the name Den Gamle Kniv Sleeper. Andreas he's the, he's the grinder. He does all the profiling and grinding. It takes a lot of experimentations to, to make the final product and to get where you can combine different uh, steel types without having any problems and to get the, the quality that we want. Kill and I worked for three years on different experiments. We experimented with uh, mosaic Damascus, humai, and different sorts of uh, canister Damascus, powder Damascus. We made 3D print Damascus, we have made stainless steel Damascus, and we have made clay Damascus as well. Oh, my dream is to be able to do it more and sell more knives.